Now, players in the aquaculture sector here in Ghana are making a push to participate in the continental free trade area. They are therefore asking government to support by making the sector a priority in order to make them competitive. Earlier, I spoke with research director of the Chamber of Aquaculture Ghana, Dr. Lawe Tete, who says the industry has not been fully tapped, including value addition. At the moment, all I know is we have a few businesses that smoke and also dry some of our fishes here, the tilapia and the catfish for export. But that is all I know for now. Mm. Um, but we can do other things, you know, like, you know, uh, as I said, canning, you know, and exporting that. So it appears, it appears there's a lot to be explored in that space as well. Um, I, I want to ask you about government policy for the aquaculture sector. Um, it, I'm reading a document where it says that government has placed aquaculture as one of the top priorities in the country's development agenda. Do you feel that support, do you feel that agenda being set? Um, at the moment, I wouldn't say um, we, are, we are seeing that. Uh, we have to be honest. Uh, we know government is trying, but as we always say in Ghana, there's still more room for improvement. Um, our sector hasn't really um, received the needed attention, not just from the current administration, but even previous administrations. Um, it's been it's been many years since we've been asking uh, previous, I mean, previous governments and even the current government to give us some exemptions, and we are yet to receive them. So it's not just about um, maybe one administration or the other, but in a, you know, as a whole, we haven't received much support. And uh, we believe it's an area that uh, can bring the country a lot of foreign exchange. And uh, it can also help us create more jobs, especially as we are battling with high you know, unemployment rates in the country. So we are asking the, the Ministry of uh, Fisheries and Aquaculture Development to partner with other stakeholders, like the Chamber of Aquaculture, to find ways and means to uh, help the sector to develop and uh, grow because we believe there is a lot we can do. At the moment, we have not even um, addressed about 10% of uh, our challenges. Wow. You know, we have a lot of issues that we need to address. Okay, High cost of production, diseases, regulation, you know, infiltration of um, foreign, you know, fishes into our waters. Uh, smuggling of fishes from other countries to this place. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. So, All right, that's your business update for this morning. My name is Daryl Kwao. Honey, you back to Venice. Thank you, Daryl Kwao, that we're business. That'll be it for this edition of News Desk. But before I go, let me give you reason to stay on. Up next is Join News Interactive with Mapito Sibidi. And today she's interacting with LK as singer and you know how it goes you definitely will get some relaxing music to go uh, along the day and don't forget later today at 8 p.m we are premiering crashed there's more news when you log on to myjoyonline.com that'll be it i'm benis abubedulansa from my team and myself we wish you the best of the rest of the day take care